What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm George and this is Bert from Baggers and Brews and today we're talking about the three most disappointing things in Biketoberfest. So we had a good time Daytona Biketoberfest, right? Yeah, we had a very good time. Um, and there were very few complaints, yeah. all in all, as far as rallies go. But we did manage to to pick out three things that <laughs> there were, there could were certainly be better. There were a couple of things that I think, for Biketoberfest and Daytona being as big as they are, I do think missed the mark. Yeah. I mean, in no specific order, the vendors at the Speedway. Yeah. So the International Speedway situation was very disappointing. Yeah. And I think that jumps out first and foremost as far as things that weren't great about the rally. Now we had been told by some people that when we were at the main vendors that the Speedway would be just like it and there would yeah. be a lot of people, a lot of vendors down there. And we got down there and it was very, very disappointing. It was no bueno. I mean the best it, thing about uh, going to the Speedway vendors was riding in past the Speedway and parking and, and all of that was like ri riding in was the best part about going to the speedway because yeah, i've never seen it's Daytona it's speedway. such a cool spot it's a cool mm -hmm. venue for vendors with that in the backdrop mm -hmm. and the huge parking lot that they have there it's just, just so many possibilities and it was really just underwhelming <laughs> right now this is biketoberfest we've yet to be to daytona spring rally spring rally might be different Right? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You can let us know in the comments if you've been, but I hope it is because we plan to eventually get to Spring Rally and I'm hoping it's better than this. This was just, I mean, there was, was there even a dozen vendors there? Well, well, there were a dozen vendors there, but. That weren't duplicates from the main the main vendor def area? Definitely not. Right. So all of the vendors there were basically at, uh, the Daytona, the experience. The, na the names, the actual big yeah. name, Destination Daytona. Destination right. Daytona. JP Cycles was there. Hot Leathers was there. There were a few others that were there. But even then, JP Cycles only had like a little tent. Right. You know? So, um, the, I mean, maybe the one vendor that was there was the guy selling the 44 mag, the 44 uh, caliber uh, bullets and all those accessories that went on the bike. Yeah, the, they were like... You know, screw on stuff. So, yeah. I mean, and maybe he, he was at Destination Daytona and I didn't see him. Yeah, maybe. Um, there was stuff we didn't see there, but it just, I mean, and the only thing that saved it for us yeah. was Fury Customs being there. Well, the, the custom builders were there. I mean, all, it, we liked Fury, but I mean, there were. Um, there were a couple others. There were a couple others there. There was also like what, like the there was there like a Polaris or some type of three wheeler thing. Yeah, there, there were a couple. Of, there was like a trike company uh, that's what it was, that had uh, Corvette engines in it. Like that was, yeah. but those custom bike builders were the only thing that was there that wasn't at Destination Daytona. Yeah. So I mean, we took you know three four hours you know of your day when you're down there for a short amount of time to go there, and I, honestly, it's probably time I wish I could have had back. I mean, we didn't really. Yeah, Excuse I mean, me. again, of Fury. Uh, I'm glad I got to see the Fury bikes in person. Uh, I've been a fan of theirs and following them. But other than that, that that was a waste of time. I mean, a couple of food trucks. I mean, there were so Just many a couple. things that, yeah, that could have been, you know, a lot better about that. And there was just, there was just no real, it was like an afterthought. <laughs> Stop talking I'm about the cough. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I teared up. Man, yeah. Number two, I think we both agree on this was the concert situation. Yeah. Uh, having been to Sturgis and what we, we all know what Sturgis has for concerts, big big name acts. Knowing what Delmarva does for concerts. Ocean City, not as big as Sturgis, not as many, but they get top names. Mm -hmm. um, I expected a lot more out of Daytona. Being such a big rally, I don't. Were there even any big names? So I mean, well, well Jasmine Kane, she's every East Coast rally. I mean, popular. Rally. I call her popular. I don't call her a big name. I, I, I don't. Disagree. She's not a headliner. She's, she she does the rally tour. She's good. People like her, 
but biker community loves her. Biker community loves her, but I don't consider that a headliner name. Right. She's not. Yeah. I mean, we're we're talking Kid Rock. Um, Skinner's been at um, at Delmarva. I mean, you get you, you know, ZZ it's, Top was at Delmarva, and Stir just gets know. it all. Like you know, they get the rockers, but they get you know the Toby mm-hmm. Keiths and, yep. and 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 and. Uh, Obviously, they have Jackal, but they get they get a they get a bunch of big names from different genres. Mm-hmm. You know, they've had Snoop Dogg there. Yeah. You know, as you've heard other people talk about, they they get huge names at multiple venues in Sturgis. Uh, all the concerts are in one place in Ocean City, but where where were the concerts? There was only one national name that I can think of, and I know people will let me know if I'm wrong, but Lee Greenwood, and Lee Greenwood was. Not even at like a a rally. He was at a bar stage. He was at the Iron Horse. He was at the Iron Horse on Sunday, the right. last day of the rally. The last day of the rally, which it, we didn't even get to stick around for. And it was a lot of it was a lot of tribute bands. A lot of tribute bands. A lot uh, all the all the bars and event sites had tribute bands. Yeah. Which to me is very disappointing for his as big a rally as it is. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, again, maybe spring is different. I don't know. They had a great stage at Destination Daytona. Oh, yeah. A huge pavilion that they, you know, were doing some bike shows at. Yeah, that would be a great venue. It, it's just, uh, yeah, the, the the concert names were just, I mean. And maybe not even the biggest, the biggest names, but just some, maybe some names we've heard of, and like tribute bands. Tribute bands. I guess a lot of people like them, but. I don't know. I could take them. Or I mean, not. Them. I'm a musician. Not the not tribute bands. It's a lot, there's a lot of good ones out there. But to be at a biker rally and not have any real national names there, I think is. Uh, I think it's a pretty big disappointment. Yep, I agree. So, so that 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 could use some work. The third one we kind of knew. We did know, but it's still disappointing, and I think everybody mm-hmm. that goes agrees. The riding. Is non-existent. I mean, there's one 30-minute loop <laughs> that's nice, and you know everybody that lives in Florida tells you and and, and go do the loop. Well, no, they say there's the riding in Florida sucks. Yeah. You know, everyone we know from Florida says the riding here sucks. It's all straight shot. You spend most of your time on the turnpike, right? So, so we did the loop. <clears throat> we did the loop. It was nice. If we go in the spring, do you feel the need to do the loop? If, I'm, if I guess if I got a free 30 minutes. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> I mean maybe on the way somewhere if we're in that area. But no, once I mean, once you've done it, it's, uh, it's not something you're going back for yeah. uh, all the time, I guess. But, and again, and this was maybe a stretch because everyone knows and it's kind of a given that Daytona is not a riding rally. But um, it's still a little disappointing when you've been to places like Sturgis and you've got the Black Hills, you know, or you've been to Laconia or Americade and you've got you know the, those areas that are beautiful riding um other places out west and then you get to daytona and it's daytona. you basically only ride to go from one event to the other yeah or to the vendors or to, to the a vendors. bar or, to yeah. eat or wherever that being said you need to be aware if you're going at night that a lot of the neighborhoods close down the streets there were a lot of streets that were blocked off and we were trying to get down the main street there were a lot of neighborhoods that had roads with blockades and because yeah. they didn't want the traffic like filtering yeah. through the neighborhoods. So there was a yeah, lot Yeah, we of actually, we, we tried to take an Uber the one night and it yeah. was like a never ending ride because the Uber was trying to avoid all these areas that were closed up, like yeah. all these roads that were shut down. So that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to hit yeah. Main Street on that that pop, hop in Friday or Saturday you're night. Trying, you're trying to get around at night, yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, it, it, was it was a tough gig. So, but listen, I mean, over, we had we had a good time. Had a blast. We did. But there there are things that I think. Um, I mean, these, these things in particular that just uh, you know they missed the mark. Yeah. And again, it's a great rally. Everyone's going to keep going to it. These are just the little things that we nitpick and just kind of put it out there for maybe first timers to be prepared. Yeah. For these things to be, you know, maybe not as exciting as you'd like them to be. So, would you go back to Biketoberfest? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I would or, or, you know, I still want to, we're going to get to the spring rally and then we'll see maybe, maybe once I go to the spring rally, I would say I, I won't go back to the, the, the fall rally because the spring one's better. I don't know. We'll see when we, when we hit, we hit that. Yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't something I would just never do again. Just, 
Okay. I would do it again, yeah. You? I would go back, but I want to go to the spring rye first. Yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely on the list. I want to see the difference. Yeah, I'd love to see the difference because, yeah. man, we got... This doesn't have anything to do with the topic, but we got some mixed reviews, right? So we had people telling us that mm -hmm. there was there was it was way busier than it normally is, and then we had other people like that we spoke directly to oh, yeah. that said it was dead. Yeah. Right. Compared yeah. to what it normally is. Right. And both and both of these people were people that go all the time. Yeah. So it was like. <laughs> So now we don't know. So I'd almost like to go again to see it in comparison, to see if that was a dead down down year or if it really wasn't. I mean, again, I mean, I thought it was pretty busy. I thought it was very busy. I mean, when we when we sat out there, yeah, we sat out there in front of the uh, Beaver Bar, yeah, and That's just it. watched you know bike after bike after bike flow by for hours. I mean, and everywhere we seemed to go, there was a crowd. Yeah. So, yeah. So. So that's it, man. That's that's our thoughts on the three things we found most disappointing about Biketoberfest. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And let us know in the comments yeah, if comment. we missed something. Was there something that we that was disappointing to you that we didn't mention? Yeah. All right. Or, or are you just not disappointed? So leave us a comment. All right. Later. Catch you in the next one. Well, that was the easy part. That was the easy part. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good, you good? Yeah. Good. Wow, that looked like the lighting just completely changed. It probably is. It's like it's adjusting the with that these these lights. This is which yeah, lights? These these lights above us. It's all right. It'll be fine. Above us? Yeah. yeah. What's above us? The Christmas lights. Oh. Christmas lights driving nuts.